First of all, I want to congratulate you, congratulate you on a great regular season. At the start of your season, tell me what are your thought process? What are your goals? How do you go about laying out this is what I want to accomplish in a given season? Well, I think uh, the, the biggest thing about setting goals is uh, you have to review. You have to you have to study yourself. You have to figure okay. out how do I get better? How to where at where at what point in my game can I have more success to help the team out? And uh, the biggest thing for me was I had I had way too many drops. Um, I had way too many uh, routes that I did not get open on, which I feel that I could have gotten open on. So that's helping out Pat. That's helping out the offense move the ball down the field. Um, in terms of first downs, I wanted to do more more in terms of that and then touchdowns. I wanted to put more touchdowns up. I thought um, anything in single digits just isn't enough. I'm not doing enough for my team. So individually, uh, you set, you set you know, goals for yourself uh, statistically. But at the end of the day, I mean, winning every single game was the, was the biggest thing on my mind. I, I felt like our team was good enough uh, offensively, defensively, and special teams-wise to, to go out there and, uh, and win every single game. And so far, we're, we're very close to that. But uh, we're, uh, we're working for uh, the number one goal, which is to get another Super Bowl, man. When, when, when I hear you talk and you say about drops, and I've always looked at guys, guys that catch a lot of passes, that are great run after the catch, they're going to have drops because they're always looking to make that big play. And you consider yourself not only just a typical tight end, you are a big play. I'm going to need 100 yards. I need touchdowns to get down the field. And sometimes you have to take your eye off the ball. You're like, okay, I got this, and turn and try to locate that defender as soon as possible. I mean, you know, it's it's all focus, and then what comes with that is understanding and being aware of the things around you. So knowing what coverage it is, knowing where your hit is coming from, right. knowing what increases when you get the ball to be able to split defenders and get north. Uh, little stuff like that is being more aware, so you can focus on the football, you know, and uh, and and put in the work with uh, with the quarterbacks to make sure that you guys are on the same pages uh, in terms of what they like to see or where they like to see you fill the voids. Uh, depending on what the defense is presenting. So it's just uh, making sure you're on – it's a team game, right? So right. you stop trying to either help pull defenders to help guys get open or at the same time uh, be able to get the ball north as fast as possible. But I think uh, having uh, have drops in, in themselves are inexcusable. All it is is just lack of focus. And uh, over the course of my career, I've really um, tried to hone in on, on, on staying focused throughout the course of the game and not letting the game uh, become too much. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.